Hi everyone, this is the weaving project I'm working on today. How cute is this? So cute, perfect for Valentine's Day. Queen of Hearts pattern. Look at this cute little ring I got. You can get these on Amazon, so you have a heart ring on your heart-themed weave. So cute, so cute. This is another collaboration design. The original design was by Piglet Evans. You can find her original design on potholders.piglet.org. I always tell you to go there, tons of free patterns. You can go crazy out there. The original design was called Pulsating Heart. And Alice Hoffman took this design and turned it into this. Another fabulous, fabulous collaboration design. Anyways, uh, let's see. Um, this one I did, pink and white. The next one I'm going to do salmon and white. The reason I'm doing that is because I want to match this towel. Look at this towel. How cute is this towel? Oh my gosh. Anyways, I think the salmon will match. But look at that towel. Holy macaroni. Anyways, you can obviously do this in all kinds of colors. You can do it in, you know, like it would look really good in pink and carnation for instance. You can do whatever colors you like. So that's my five cents on colors. I always tell you, experiment, have fun. Uh, this is, uh, I'm going to be doing 28, uh, <coughs> excuse me, salmon and 26 white. If you were going to do the pink, it would be 26 pink, 26 white. So whatever this color is going to be, you need 28 of them. And the white is 26 or whatever color you're using. This um, pattern is all full loops. There's going to be no splitting of loops on this pattern. Um, anything else? I guess not. This pattern, uh, the, the weaves are, all the lines are kind of individual, so you kind of have to pay attention. I'm telling that to myself. Okay, we're going to start with a salmon or whatever color you're using down here, pink. Uh, so this is, you know, salmon white, salmon white all the way across. And it's going to be the same going up the weft, salmon white, salmon white. This is a Pro Loom 27 by 27. We are using all the pegs. Okay, so we're going to go over two. And when I say over two today, I'm talking about full loops, over two full loops. And then we're going to do under one, over one, all the way across, under one, over one like this. Such a cute, cute pattern for Valentine's Day or any other day that you want to show somebody that you love them. Give them some hearts. Okay, when we get to the end, we're going to go over these two on the end. So over two, under one, over one, etc., all the way across, and on the end, over two. Get your salmon. And these um, keychain heart-shaped um, rings, they're so cute. Oh my God. I mean, it's worth making the pot holder just for that. Am I right? <laughs> oh my God. I don't know how you put up with me sometimes. Okay, the next one is going to be under two full loops. Then over three full loops, one, two, three. And then we're gonna do 17 singles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then we're gonna go over three, one, two, three, and then under two. Okay, this. Piglet is a fabulous designer, and Alice Hoffman is also a fabulous designer. We are all blessed by their talents being shared for the benefit of all of us. All right, row three. What the heck is row three? Over one, one full loop, 
then we're gonna go under three, one, two, three, under those three, and we're gonna do five, oh, excuse me, over two, and then five singles. One, two, three, four, five, then over two, under two, then seven singles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we're gonna go under these two, and then we're gonna do three singles at the end. One, two, three. Get another salmon or whatever the heck color you're using. Like I said, I'm doing salmon because I want to match this cute, cute towel. Sometimes the colors on the towels don't match the colors of the loops, but the salmon matches it fairly well, so that's why I'm doing that. All right, row four, under one loop, one full loop. And we're gonna do three twos, over two twos, under two twos, and over two. Then we're gonna do four singles, one, two, three, four. Then we're gonna do under two, then we're gonna do over one, under one, over two, four singles, one, two, three, four, under two, over three, one, two, three, over all three of those, ending on a under one. Get your white. <clears throat> Pack, pack, pack. Okay, row five. Row five is going to be starting on over one, under one. Over one full loop, under one full loop. Then we're gonna do, do three twos. One, two, three. Then we're gonna do under one, over one. Then we're gonna do under two. Then we're gonna do four singles. One, two, three, four, over two. Under one, over one. Under two, over two. Under two, over one. Get another salmon. Sometimes you gotta untwist things. Next row is gonna be white. Next row is gonna be row number six. <coughs> so row six is going to be under one full loop, over one full loop, under one full loop. Then we're gonna do four twos. One, two, three, four. Then we're gonna do six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're gonna do four twos. I mean over two full loops. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna end on over one, under one. With a white. Oops, stay on there. Next row is going to be row number seven. We are going to use another salmon. 
we're gonna do four singles, one, starting on over one. One, two, three, four. Then we're gonna do over two full ones, under two full. Then we're gonna do 12 singles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We're gonna do over two, under two. And we're gonna do three singles, over, under, over with your salmon. Okay. We're gonna do another white one on row eight. First, we're gonna pack these guys down. Pack, 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 pack. All right. Row eight, we're gonna do five singles starting on under one. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna do two twos over two under two. And we're gonna do 10 singles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we're gonna do over two loops, under two loops, and then we're gonna do four more singles. Over one, under one, over one, under one. Get your white. Like I said, you can make this in all kinds of colors. If I wasn't trying to match this particular one to that towel, I would be doing one in pink and carnation. I think that would be fabulous. And I still might do one just to make myself happy. Okay, we are on row nine. We are gonna start out with five singles, starting with an over one. One, two, three, four, five, under two full loops, over one full loop, under two full loops. Then we're gonna do eight singles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're gonna do over two full loops, under two full loops. And then we're gonna do the rest singles, five. One, two, three, four, five. Pack, pack, pack. Okay, we're gonna be on row 10, which is going to be another white, starting on four singles under one. One, two, three, four, and under two full loops. Three singles, one, two, three, under two full loops. Uh, six singles. One, two, three, four, five, six. Over two, under one. Over two, and then singles. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so just to reiterate that, we started on four sing singles. Under one, over one, under one, over one. Under two full loops, three singles. One, two, three, under two, six, singles starting on an over one, one, two, three, four, five, six, over two full loops, under one, over two, and then the rest, one, two, three, four, five, single loops. Grab your white, pull it through. <coughs> These, um, these heart rings that are so cute, they come in all kinds of different colors. Not that you need to be tempted, right? Oh my God, they're so cute. 
I mean, I'm not going to tempt you, but I am going to tempt you. Look at these colors, people. Holy mackerel. Okay, where was I? <laughs> okay, we are on row 11 with your salmon. We're going to start on three singles with an over one. One, two, three. And we're going to do under two full loops. We're going to do five singles. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to go under two full loops. And we're going to do four singles. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to do over two. Then we're going to do three singles. One, two, three. And then we're going to do another over two. And then we're going to end on four singles. One, two, three, whoops, four. All right, row 12, we're gonna be starting on an under one. First, gotta pack these guys down. Pack, 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 pack. We're gonna be doing a white. Okay, under one full loop, over one full loop. They're going to do seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then, oh, wait a minute, what did I do here? Under one, over one, and then seven singles. Oh, I forgot something. Okay, under one, over one, then under two, seven singles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then under two. Sometimes I get confused. So much um, detail work. <laughs> over one, under one, over two, five ones. One, two, three, four, five, over two, and then three ones. One, two, three. Pack, pack, pack. Next row is going to be row 13 with a salmon. Oh, continue. Continue to pack, 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 pack. Okay. We're going to start with an over one full loop under two full loops. Now we're going to do nine ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Then we're going to go under two full loops, over two full loops. Now we're going to do seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, over two. And then we're going to do under one, over one at the end. With your salmon, or whatever color you're using, pink. Next row is row 14, the middle, yay, with a white. Pack, 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 pack. All right, we're going to go under one full loop, and we're going to go over two full loops. Then we're going to do 21 singles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Then we're gonna end on over two full loops, under one.
Okay, next row is gonna be row 15 with a salmon. First, what are we gonna do? Pack, pack, pack. Ay, ay, ay. All right, over one full loop, under one full loop. Then we're gonna do over two full loops. Then we're gonna do seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, over two full, under two full, nine ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, under two full loops, over the last full loop with your salmon. Twist this guy. Let me see here. Nope. nope. That's groovy, groovy, groovy. I'm still going to have to pack this even after I do this. That's okay. What row are we on? 16. 16 is gonna be white. We're starting on an under one. Under one, over one, under one. Over two. Then we're gonna do five ones. One, two, three, four, five. Over two full loops. Under one, over one under two again, then we're going to do seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we're going to go under two full loops, over one, under one. salmon. We are on row 17. We're going to do four ones starting with over. One, two, three, four, over two full loops. Then we're going to do three ones. One, two, three. Then over two, four ones. One, two, three, four, under two, five ones. One, two, three, four, five, under two, and the last ones are all gonna be ones. Over one, under one, over one. With your salmon. Okay, row 18, get another white. We're gonna do four ones starting with, we might be doing five ones. One, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna go over two, under one, over two, and then we're gonna do six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Under two, three ones. One, two, three. Under two, and then we're gonna do uh, four singles. One, two, three, four.
Okay. We are on row 19, which is going to be another salmon. Okay. Five, one, starting with over. One, two, three, four, five. And then under two full loops, over two full loops. Then eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Under two full loops, over one, under two. And then five singles. One, two, three, four, five. Get twisted. Mm -hmm. I don't know. All right, I'm going to take some time to straighten these rows. My favorite thing, got to do it, can't not do it. All right, so another good use of your knitting needle. And I like this tool that I got. From Walmart, you can also find it on Amazon. I'm gonna go down here. That's not so bad. Straighten these out because they look better and also so you have room for the rest of your loops. So you can pack these things down with your fingers and I could probably still do that, but now that these are woven, I like to use this because it gets into the gets into the corners and the crevices, I think, better than my fingers. But as I always say, make yourself happy. Fingers would probably work. But I just started using this semi-recently and pretty cool. I think they call it a weaving tool on Amazon. It's not expensive. See how far off that is? See how high up that is? I mean, there's gonna be some give when you take it off because we have loops going over two and three loops so there's always going to be some kind of constricting going on but it's still good to do this so even though i was kind of packing them down with my fingers look Here's my white one. Look how look at the difference where it's supposed to be and where it is. Straighten up your rows. Another great use for the knitting needle. This is a size six knitting needle. Sometimes people ask me. I don't knit. That, this one seems to be a good size because if you get too large of a size, it's just too much. And if you get too small of a size needle, then it doesn't hold the loops as well. So I seem to have settled on this size at the moment. Look at this. See how far away that is from where it's supposed to be? See? It's not a crisis. Just if you want it to look kind of nice, and if you want to have room for more loops, you gotta do it. And I, as I always say, people who weave, I think, I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but people who weave have got to have patience. So if you have patience for weaving, 
You have patience for straightening. <laughs> you can see. And this happens with all kinds of weaves. You know, it helps to straighten anything that you're that you're doing Look how high that is above where it's supposed to be. See that? Something to pay attention to, no matter what you're weaving. I mean, you don't have to go crazy with it, but just be aware. The first one that I ever wove, I had this huge arc at the end. And I thought, I don't think I'm doing this right, because there was a big arc. You don't want arcs because... They don't look right and there's no room for everything else you're supposed to be doing. But, you know, we all learn all kinds of stuff. I, I learned all kinds of stuff from people. Oh my gosh. I'm very grateful for people who have taught me so much about this. All right, we're almost done, and another white loop is coming on, which is gonna be row 20. We're gonna start four ones starting on an under one. One, two, three, four, under two, over two. Then we're gonna do 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Under two full loops, over two full loops. And then five ones. One, two, three, four, five. And it's getting tight, so you know what I say. I feel a safety pin coming on. Some people use hair clips also when it gets tight. So I guess some people use their fingers too. Do whatever, you know, seems to be right for your comfort level. All right, you're on row 21. Get another salmon. I'm gonna put this loop on a safety pin for weaving now because it's getting too tight. <clears throat> Don't suffer unnecessary. Don't force yourself to use the hook or use anything if it's stressful when you can switch over to something like this. All right, we're gonna do three ones starting with an over one. Over, under, over. And then we're going to do under two full. Over two full. And then we're going to do 12 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, and then we're gonna do under two, over two, and we're gonna do four ones. One, 
two, three, four. Okay. Next row is going to be row 23. Excuse me, 22. 22 with a white. And we're going to start on under one, over one. Under one. On there, buddy. Over one. Then under two, over two. Under two, over two, and then we're gonna go six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're gonna do under two full loops, over two, under two again, over two again, ending on three ones. Under one, over one, under one. I think I twisted this, that's okay. Sometimes that happens when I'm using my safety pin, but I'm not giving up my safety pin. <laughs> Might work better with a hair clip, I don't know. Okay, now we're on row 23. Pack, pack, pack. There's gonna be over one, and then we're gonna do three twos. Under two, over two, under two. And then we're gonna go over one, under one, over two. First get this situated. Okay, over two. <coughs> Four ones. One, two, three, four. Under two. Over one, under one. Over two under two, over two, under one, over one. <coughs> Get another white for row 24. Pack, pack, pack. These things do move. Even after you pack some of them, there's still movement. It's kind of like a never ending thing to do. <coughs> All right, under one, full loop with your white, or whatever color you're using, and then over three, full loops, one, two, three. And then under two full loops. And we're gonna do four ones, one, two, three, four, over two, and we're gonna do under one, over one, under two, and we're gonna do four ones, one, two, three, four, over two, under two, over two, ending on under one. See these hearts being formed? So cool. So cool. All right, get over there, my friend. Get a salmon. We are on row 25. First, we gotta do what? Pack these guys down. Look. Uh, I think that's pretty good. All right, 
over one, under one, over one. And we're gonna go under two. And we're gonna do six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Check for twists. There we go. Over two, under two, six ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, over two, under three, three full loops, and over the last one. Okay. Pack, pack, pack. So cute, so cute, so cute. Right? You have to straighten up these lines this way, too. Check that. All right. We're on row 26. We're going to go under the first two. Then we're gonna do 23 ones. One, let's see, is that right? Under two, over one, under one, yep. Over one, under one, all the way across until we get to the last two. Over one, under one. Okay, we're gonna go all the way across and we're gonna end on an under two. So we're gonna go under the last two. Okay, one more salmon. Um, let's see here. How are we doing? Ha ha ha. <laughs> able to fit that last row in I mean without too much strain even after you pack them they move Great pattern for people that like hearts. This is a pattern for the mushy people, right? Hearts and love, right? I like hearts. Okay.
You could do this in pink and green. You could do this in, you know, two types of blue. Whatever colors you like. I'm doing this so I have room, a little bit more room at the top, not only for the last row, but also so that I can bind it off a little bit, a little bit more easily, maybe. <laughs> Almost, we only have one more row. Such a cute pattern. I really appreciate these designer people. I have designed some of my own, but I also appreciate so much. We have, there's so many people that are designing, it's so great. Okay, last row. Under one, over one, all the way across. Under one loop. Over. There's a shelf under there on the uh, loom. So I have to kind of try maneuver around it. But. So cute. Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts. still going to pack this down a little bit because I won't have room to take this off if I don't, right? Right, I'm going to start in the top right corner, lift this up, get the one next to it, pull it through like that. Then I'm going to put this loop back on here as an anchor. I like to remind people, some people use binder clips to secure the pot holder. 
Some people use knitting needles. There's all kinds of ways you can do it. And as I always say, make yourself happy. Whatever you like. Whatever you feel comfortable with. Put another anchor over here somewhere. Maybe this guy. That's just to keep the tension. After you straighten all those rows, <laughs> right? I like to use my first anchor loop, which is this one, as a loop to pull through and put a ring on it. Or you can use it to hang it, or you can weave it into the back 
so. So cute. I'm going to go around and pull these guys back through. I think I got some threads here. Go back through. Okay, this guy through. Okay, this guy go back through. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cute? Got to clip some threads. No big deal. Get to it. Now, look at this. How cute. You got to make this, guys. You got to make this just so you can use this ring. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, so drop the ring on like that and then spread the loop around like that come on oh look at that <laughs> isn't that cute and remember if you do it in different colors you got all these different ones i'm telling you guys you got to try it i hope you enjoyed my insanity here today and i hope you try this. It's so cool. Have a great day.